Okay, this is another one from Sarah's little short story book mini series, I guess. These are just books that I grew up reading and kind of want to save to this online diary here. So here we go. Frog and Toad Together. I think this is several short stories in one book. So we'll just get through them. Um, these are all very old. Some of these are older than me. A List, The Garden, Cookies, Dragons and Giants, The Dream. A List. One morning, Toad sat in bed. I have many things to do, he said. I will write them all down on a list so that I can remember them. Toad wrote on a piece of paper, a list of things to do today. Then he wrote, wake up. I have done that, said Toad, and then he crossed out, wake up. Maybe this is why I'm obsessed with lists. Then Toad wrote other things on the paper. Eat breakfast, get dressed, go to Frog's house, take walk with Frog, eat lunch, take a nap, play games with Frog, eat summer, and go to sleep. I like that Frog is a good enough friend that Toad can plan on a nap and know that he will get it. Or at least think that Toad Frog will let him have a nap. There, said Toad, now my day is all written down. He got out of bed and had something to eat. Then Toad crossed out, eat breakfast. Toad took his clothes out of the closet and put them on. Then he crossed out, get dressed. Toad put the list in his pocket. He opened the door and he walked out into the morning. Soon Toad was at Frog's front door. He took the list out of his pocket and crossed out, go to Frog's house. Toad knocked at the, at the door. Hello, said Frog. Look at my list of things to do, said Toad. Oh, said Frog. That is very nice. Toad said, my list tells me that we will go for a walk. All right, said Frog. I am ready. Frog and Toad went on a long walk. Then Toad took the list from his pocket again. He crossed out, take walk with Frog. And then a strong wind, oh, just then a strong wind. It blew the list out of Toad's hand. That's not a complete sentence. Uh, <laughs> the list blew up high into the air. Help, cried Toad. My list is blowing away. What will I do without my list? Hurry, said Frog. We will run and catch it. No, shouted Toad. I cannot do that. Why not? asked Frog. Because, wailed Toad, running after my list is not one of the things I wrote on my list of things to do. Frog ran after the list. He ran over hills and swamps, but the list blew on and on. At last, Frog came back to Toad. I am sorry, but I could not catch your list. Blah, said Toad. I cannot remember any of the things that were on my list of things to do. I will just have to sit here and do nothing, said Toad. Toad sat and did nothing. That means he didn't get his nap. After a long time, Frog said, Toad, it is getting dark. We should be going to sleep now. Go to sleep, shouted Toad. That was the last thing on my list. Toad rode on the ground with a stick. Go to sleep. Then he crossed out, go to sleep. There, said Toad. Now my day is all crossed out. I am glad, said Frog. Then Frog and Toad went right to sleep. the garden. Frog was in his garden. Toad came walking by. What a fine garden you have, Frog, he said. Yes, said Frog, it is very nice, but it was very hard work. I wish I had a garden, said Toad. Here are some flower seeds. Plant them in the ground, said Frog, and soon you will have a garden. How soon? asked Toad. Quite soon, said Frog. Toad ran home. He planted the flower seeds. Now seeds, said Toad. Start growing. Toad walked up and down a few times. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head close to the ground and said loudly, Now seeds start growing. Toad looked at the ground again. The seeds did not start to grow. Toad put his head very close to the ground and shouted, Now seeds start growing. Frog came running up the path. What is all this noise? he asked. My seeds will not grow, said Toad. You are shouting too much, said Frog. These poor seeds are afraid to grow. My seeds are afraid to grow, asked Toad. Of course, said Frog. Leave them alone for a few days. Let the sun shine on them. Let the rain fall on them. Soon your seeds will start to grow. 
That night, Toad looked out of his window. Drat, said Toad. My seeds have not started to grow. They must be afraid of the dark. Toad went out to his garden with some candles. I will read the seeds a story, said Toad. Then they will not be afraid. Toad read a long story to his seeds. Toad, Toad, wake up, said Frog. Look at your garden. Toad looked at his garden. Little green plants were coming up out of the ground. At last, shouted Toad, my seeds have stopped being afraid to grow. And now you will have a nice garden too, said Frog. Yes, said Toad, but you were right, Frog. It was very hard work. Cookies. <laughs> I think I think this story had a lot of influence on my life later. Toad baked some cookies. These cookies smell very good, said Toad. He ate one. And they taste even better, he said. Toad ran to Frog's house. Frog, Frog, taste these cookies that I have made. Frog ate one of the cookies. These are the best cookies I have ever eaten, said Frog. Frog and Toad ate too many cookies, one after the other. You know, Toad, said Frog with his mouth full, I think we need to stop eating. We will be, we will soon be sick. You are right, said Toad. Let us eat one last cookie, and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one last cookie. There were many cookies left in the bowl. Frog, said Toad, let us eat one very last cookie, and then we will stop. Frog and Toad ate one very last cookie. We must stop eating, cried Toad, as he ate another. Yes, said Frog, reaching for a cookie. We need willpower. What is willpower? Willpower is trying not to do something you really want to do, said Frog. You mean like trying not to eat all these cookies, asked Toad? Right, said Frog. Uh, sorry, I don't know what's happening in the other room. Something loud. Frog put all the cookies in a box. There, he said, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog tied some string around the box. There, he said, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog got a ladder. He put the box up on a high shelf. There, said Frog, now we will not eat any more cookies. But we can climb the ladder and take down the box from the shelf and cut the string and open the box, said Toad. That is true, said Frog. Frog climbed the ladder and took the box down from the shelf. He cut the string and opened the box. Frog took the box outside. He shouted in a loud ver voice, Hey, birds, here are cookies. Birds came from any everywhere. They picked up all the cookies in their beaks and flew away. Now we have no more cookies to eat, said Toad sadly. Not even one. Yes, said Frog, but we have lots and lots of willpower. You may keep it all, said Toad. I'm going home now to bake a cake. That sounds just like me. Dragons and Giants Frog and Toad were reading a book together. The people in this book are brave, said Toad. They fight dragons and giants and they are never afraid. I wonder if we are brave, said Frog. Frog and Toad looked into a mirror. We look brave, said Frog. Yes, but are we, asked Toad. Frog and Toad went outside. We can try to climb this mountain, said Frog. That should tell us if we are brave. Frog went leaping over rocks and Toad came puffing up behind him. They came to a dark cave. A big snake came out of the cave. Hello, lunch, said the snake. When he saw Frog and Toad, he opened his mouth. He opened his wide mouth. Frog and Toad jumped away. Toad was shaking. I'm not afraid, he cried. They climbed higher and they heard a loud voice. Many large stones were rolling down the mountain. It's an avalanche, cried Toad. Frog and Toad jumped away. Frog was trembling. I'm not afraid, he shouted. They came to the top of the mountain. The shadow of a hawk fell over them. Frog and Toad jumped under a rock. The hawk flew away. We are not afraid, screamed Frog and Toad at the same time. Then they ran down the mountain very fast. They ran past the place where they saw the avalanche. They ran past the place where they saw the snake. 
They ran all the way to Toad's house. Frog, I'm glad to have a brave friend like you, said Toad. He jumped into bed and pulled the covers over his head. And I'm happy to know I have a brave person like you, Toad, said Frog. He jumped into the closet and shut the door. Toad stayed in the bed, and Frog stayed in the closet. They stayed there for a long time, feeling very brave together. The Dream Toad was asleep, and he was having a dream. He was on stage, and he was wearing a costume. Toad looked out into the dark. Frog was sitting in the theater. A strange voice from far away said, Presenting the great toad, greatest toad in all the world. Toad took a deep bow. Frog looked smaller as he shouted, Hooray for Toad! Toad will now play the piano very well, said a strange voice. Toad played the piano, and he did not miss a note. Frog, cried Toad, can you play the piano like this? No, said Frog. It seemed to Toad that Frog looked even smaller. Toad will now walk on a high wire, and he will not fall down, said the voice. Toad walked on the high wire. Frog, cried Toad, can you do tricks like this? No, peeped Frog. He looked very, very small. Toad will now dance, and he will be wonderful, said the voice. Frog, can you be as wonderful as this, said Toad, as he danced all over the stage. There was no answer. Toad looked out into the theater. Frog was so small he could not be seen or heard. Frog, said Toad, where are you? There was still no answer. Frog, what have I done? cried Toad. Then the voice said, the greatest Toad will now... Shut up, screamed Toad. Frog, Frog, where have you gone? Toad was spinning in the dark. Come back, Frog. I will be lonely. I am right here, said Frog. Frog was standing near Toad's bed. Wake up, Toad, he said. Frog, is that really you, said Toad. Of course it's me. And you are your own right size, asked Toad. Yes, I think so, said Frog. Toad looked out th uh, at the sunshine, coming through the window. Frog, he said, I am so glad that you came over. I always do, said Frog. Then Frog and Toad ate a big breakfast, and after that they spent a fine long day together. I'm pretty sure that last story, because I've felt like Toad a lot. I can actually, I'm a little bit surprised at how resonant some of these stories are. And let's look at the list for a second. The list. I do this. I write a list every day, and I love checking it off. And sometimes I get a little over-obsessed with it. Um, I've killed a lot of houseplants. I have zero willpower, and I know that. And if you watch any of my other videos lately, you know I'm really into like trying to figure out health and get over addictions and things. And I wished I was more brave. But this one, you know, I'm a performer. I'm a theater person. And I know I've sometimes maybe made the wrong choices because I put performing in front of other things. Interesting how... Uh, how deep some of these children's stories can be, and I think that's why I love them and why I want to try and preserve them this way. <laughs>